potato. How you doing, movie fans? Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to another edition here at The Potato, where we're a whirlwind of movie news reviews from a couch potato. So today, I would like to look at the film Brightburn. When a small ship crash lands on Tori and Kyle Breyer's farm, they discover it contains an infant boy. Since the couple has been struggling to conceive a child of their own and build a family, they take the child in, name him Brandon, and claim he was adopted from an agency. However, what was originally thought of as a blessing becomes a living nightmare once Brandon starts to hit puberty. Now, I, I know that in itself is usually a nightmare for many parents to deal with, but that's not the story. The concept of Brightburn is pretty much what you would get if upon realizing he had superpowers as a kid, Clark Kent, instead of becoming Superman, decided to use his powers for evil instead of good. Let's take a look. After a small spaceship crashes on the farm of Tori and Kyle Breyer, played by Elizabeth Banks and David Denman, the couple discover the ship contains an infant. Having trouble conceiving a child of their own, the couple sees this as a blessing and takes him in and tells people they adopted. Once he hits puberty, however, Brandon, played by Jackson A. Dunn in his first film starring role, starts to realize he's smarter, faster, and stronger than everyone else. He becomes both more violent and less sympathetic towards people, while still trying to act innocent towards his mom and dad to cover up his misdeeds. One aspect of this film that works is what feels like Brandon's internal conflict about his parents. He cares about them to some extent, most likely only because they raised him and he also doesn't want to blow his cover. But now that he's growing powerful, he views them and all humans as weak. We the audience know he could crush them like a bug, but instead he chooses to act like a regular boy in front of them. Not only is this boy, well, technically being, like a teenager going through puberty, but a confused teenager with superpowers with nobody to relate to or guide him in the right direction with those powers. It's a lethal mix, and the kills in this movie aren't many, but they are certainly head turners when they happen. So Brightburn tries to take elements from the superhero genre and turn it upside down to create this horror sci-fi film. Initially, I was really, really excited to see this movie because it was produced by James Gunn, who has proven he knows what he's doing in the superhero genre by both writing and directing both Guardians of the Galaxy films. And while he didn't direct this movie, it was kept in the family as his brother Brian Gunn and cousin Mark Gunn wrote it. And so I was curious if some of that magic could rub off on them. And while the film does have some tense moments, it's just pretty much as I said before, comparing it to Superman becoming evil. So, I give this film yet another 6.5 out of 10. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and I will see you next week. Thanks.